Hi, welcome to this news update edition of In the Hyperloop. I'm your host, Blake Yannaberg, and this week's feature is Hart's Global Mobility and their tubular test track. According to the press release for Hart, the Dutch Minister of Infrastructure and Environment has requested, among others, that Hart Hyperloop conduct a research into the feasibility of a test track for the Hyperloop in the Netherlands. The report has been sent to the House of Representatives and judges uh, positively gave feedback about the test track. It recommends building a test track of about five kilometers in the Dutch province of Flevoland, which is here. Before we dive in, just a quick reminder in the Hyperloop relies on support like viewers from you. If you like what you see, consider supporting us by clicking on the link at the bottom of the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. Heart Hyperloop's goal is to have all the technology ready within the next four years so that they can build the first Hyperloop chest track between the two cities. The founders of Heart Mobility were with Delft Hyperloop and they won the SpaceX pod competition in Los Angeles in January. Heart Hyperloop uh, is also supported by BAM and TU Delft the University. The reasons for the research is not only for Heart Hyperloop uh, in the Netherlands, but also in conjunction with Hyperloop One from the United States, looking for a location to test the concept of Hyperloop and certify for passenger and freight transport. There's been a couple of consortiums that have investigated into these technologies, into spatial integration, into finance, economics, and government. Various locations have been considered and based on factors such as land availability and crossings of infrastructure. The Vegowig uh, province in Flevoland has been identified as the most feasible. The press release says that the construction of a Hyperloop test track in the Netherlands results in hundreds of new jobs that will be created by the two Hyperloop companies. In addition, around 59% of the total investment is directed to the contribution of the economy and knowledge about the Hyperloop, including certification and sub-technologies that are gains and intellectual property rights. Dutch companies may export the acquired knowledge and expertise when the Hyperloop can be commercialized in a later stage. The ministry finds the Hyperloop test track interesting for the Dutch economy and Dutch businesses. A minister, Scholz van Hagen, now leaves up to the House of Representatives to interpret the Hyperloop report and make further decisions about financial support and commitment from the government to a potential future collaboration with Hyperloop companies. Part Hyperloop is the first European company to develop the Hyperloop and is uh, being built by the biggest construction company in the Netherlands called BAM. It's also located in a uh, the campus of Delft University, where they'll do t most of the testing of the critical systems at low speed. At the unveiling of the test track um, in June, the minister expressed her ambition for the Netherlands to be the European test bed for innovation and sustainable forms of transport. The Hyperloop is fast, innovative, quiet, and sustainable, and therefore very interesting for the mobility of the future, said the minister. You know, the proposed test track can test all these components of a Hyperloop system, therefore starting the construction of the commercial track. If you want to learn more, definitely check out heartglobalmobility.com and be sure to keep watching In the Hyperloop for the latest Hyperloop news.